Okay, here's Mega here. I'm doing a video on the Sauron Light B here. Um, I'm going to show you how to adjust your throttle on your uh, on your Sauron Light B. So the um, the Light B uses a regular motorcycle throttle, just like any like dirt bike style throttle like this. It's a single it's a single uh, single cable dealie like this. See, it's got one cable. This one has one cable. Some motorcycles have like two cables. There's a push and a pull cable like this one on the KLR here. There's like there's one on the top and one on the bottom. But this one only has a single cable. Um, so there is a there's a way to adjust this throttle to adjust the slack of it. I noticed there there is a little bit of play. There's some play in it before it actually does anything. And you have to twist it a whole lot to get it to do something. So yeah, see see how much play there is. So I was like kind of looking at it and I'm like, hey, well, this looks like it needs to be adjusted. So, um, so the way to adjust this is, uh, it's pretty much like a, a motorcycle throttle. This there's a locking nut here, and and you don't need any tools to do it. If it's kind of hard to get off, then you could probably use some pliers. But uh, just all you have to do is loosen this. You turn it counterclockwise, or I guess forward in this case, and then you can adjust the throttle. Um, with this little sleeve here, that yeah, so the more you adjust it out, the tighter it makes the throttle. Um, now it doesn't really do it, the way the way I noticed the throttle, the way the throttle acts on this. The first like kind of quarter of the throttle, it doesn't do anything. Um, but you do want to make sure it returns all the way, so so the bike knows like, hey, you're um, you're you're not applying any throttle. So, but anyway, that's how to, that's, in, in a nutshell, that's how to adjust it. This locks the, um, the adjuster, and then, um, the adjuster's right here, the sleeve, so. So you turn it in to loosen it, so I turn it in all the way. And there's a lot, a lot of play now. Turn it out. Let's turn it out all the way. Okay. See, so now there's like there's like no play at all. So you probably want to experiment with it a little bit to see if it's actually you want it there to be just a tiny bit of slack, a tiny bit of slack, but not a lot. So you don't have to like twist it all the way, twist it all the way. And you want to make sure that this little nut here is secure because if it doesn't, then it vibrates out and then it starts rotating. Yeah. And there's this little rubber protector dealy for here to keep the throttle clean. Um, so, so yeah, that's how you adjust your throttle on the Sauron. So I, I'm probably going to make it tighter. Um, I feel that like I have to twist it a whole lot to get it to do something, so I'm going to tighten it up a bit. Um, but just tighten it up so so there's just a tiny bit of slack. Um, that way you know like it's returning all the way. Uh, and it's not, you know, that, that when you close the throttle, it's going to actually decelerate, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, that's one thing I noticed when I was looking at the bar. I was like, hey, wait a minute, uh, this looks like it's loose. Like, uh, so it's one thing you should inspect periodically on your bike too, to to make sure. Sometimes the cable might stretch or something, um, and then you might want to tighten it or something. So, or like like I said, the the nut comes loose from vibration, and then it it just starts backing out, and then it gets it either gets looser or tighter or whatever. Um, yeah, so. So there you go. That's uh, that's how to uh, adjust your throttle on the uh, on the Suron Lightbe. Hope you learned something. Let's make out.